A little scared adventurer. A little scared adventurer. You the one that got me doing crazy. Well, I'll just walk down. <laughs> just walk down. My stomach's in the Just walk down. If I slip. You're not going to slip. The more you think about it, the more you're likely going to slip. Why are you walking like that? Hola, my lovely people. It's first class Friday. So Alistair and I are finally leaving Las Vegas. So we are actually driving back to Salt Lake City. It's about a six hour drive. We got an upgrade, which was nice. And we're gonna do some sightseeing. Um, I'm very curious as to what the landscape is like between Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. I hear very, very good things. So super excited. We kind of have an idea of where we want to stop. Um, but yeah, so doing that today, we should be back in Salt Lake City by midnight tonight after all of our stops. Here's Alistair now. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get some good pictures and to see some really cool landscapes. So road trip, road trip. Mm -hmm. Let me get, oh, that looks good. Dang, dang, drizzle my caramel around the cup. Babe, that's all sugar. No, look, they just, look at they, this. Yeah, so they had to remake it. So they didn't drizzle it around the cup. All sugar. You're not, not the one driving. Coffee. I'm the one driving. I need it. You don't need it. You think you need it. I need it for this drive. All right. I'm going to document while we're going. Let's do this. So we can be safe. <laughs> we started the journey to the Valley of Fire State Park, which was about an hour drive from the Las Vegas Strip. The sun was a bit too bright for Alistair, and my Vegas sunglasses were his only option at the time. As you can see, he was having the time of his life in these glasses. This was just the beginning of our journey, so I'm sure you can imagine how the rest of this trip is going to go. After about an hour of driving, we came to the Valley of Fire State Park. This is Nevada's oldest and largest state park. This park gets its name from the red sandstone formations that occurred millions of years ago. It is also home to petroglyphs left by Native Americans who used to occupy the lands many, many years ago. The park is open from sunrise to sunset and has an entry fee of $10 for Nevada vehicles and $15 for non-Nevada vehicles. All right, y'all, so we just made it to the Valley of Fire. And it is hot out here. They have signs saying you can die. <laughs> so we got our water. You know, I got my Life Straw water bottle, always. You hot, babe? <laughs> you don't even want to talk to me. Yeah. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Right now, we are at Mouse Tank. So we're going to see what Mouse Tank is about. And then there's four other spots that I want to stop by quickly Hiking to grab some hot. pictures. Weather is dangerous and not recommended. Heat, heat warning. Hi, Candace. Can well, listen to tell you it's not recommended to walk. <laughs> <laughs> heat warning. You might die. Look at this, guys. Be careful, babe. Oh, you got it. Because I'm spicy. No service. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna get blackity black black. Blackity black black. You should have left, mm -hmm. left the camera. Camera bag is more the camera. Yeah, you need the camera. In the sand. Oh, here. There's a lizard, guys. The big lizard. Trinies would have ate that. <laughs> so there's a pool of water between 
the rock formations. I can't see it though. I can see the reflection. What rock can we stand up on? I can see the reflection of it. In the rock. Oh, I see. All right, I'm tired. Like, we walking in sand. I'm actually not I know. I'm shocked. <laughs> I was serious. Like, cool. I don't want to walk no more. And usually I'm the one that's cool. That's why I you don't do cardio. I do do cardio. <sighs> yeah. Who's that? And we ate. We ate Chick-fil-A before doing this. Not a good idea. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> and my phone overheated, so I couldn't record it, part of it for you. Oh. All right. This is taking too much energy. See you on the flip side. All right, so now we're at Rainbow Vista. So let's do it. Whew. Instead of doing the Rainbow Vista Trail, Alistair was dying to hike up and get a view of Mount Tank Road. I couldn't make it all the way up there because I was nervous, but here's the view that he got. Look at y'all little scared adventure. A little scared adventure. You always got me doing crazy stuff. You're the one that got me doing crazy stuff. Well, I'll just walk down. <laughs> uh. Just walk down. My stomach's in the <laughs> Just walk down. What if I slip? You're not going to slip. The more you think about it, the more you're likely going to slip. Why are you walking like that? Okay, so we did mouse tank, which... It was just some water in between a formation of rocks. Hike was way too long for that. We're headed to Arch Rock, which I'm pretty excited for. And then afterwards, we're gonna try and do Elephant Rock. So let's check out Arch Rock. Guys, there's wild animals. The Valley of Fire State Park is the home to wild animals such as bighorn sheep, desert tortoise, ground squirrels, coyotes, lizards, and more. Okay, so this is Arch Rock. As you can see, it's a natural arch. Very, very pretty. Look at that. It's very pretty. And we got to see some amazing things on the bank, so I think it's so cool. If visiting Valley of Fire State Park, I highly recommend staying in the area for at least two days to explore. We had limited time and not much knowledge of the park, so we weren't able to really take advantage of all that it had to offer. Okay, last one of the day for Valley of Fire, then we're headed to our next destination, and we are going to see Elephant Rock. But, let me take some pictures here, okay? Take a picture. So we made it to Elephant Rock. There you go. As you can see, it's shaped like an elephant. Let's go see the shape more. <laughs> Did I say shit or shape? <laughs> There's so much more to this park and I definitely will return. Be aware of the heat in the summer and make sure to always have a bottle of water with you. But this was definitely a top choice. 
now we're headed to our next location, which is gonna be about two and a half hours of driving. So let's go. Right. I'm making Alistair play a game because we're stuck in traffic right now. And I always wanna play games, but you never wanna play with me. Why you don't ever wanna play with me, babe? Because. Because <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> it's fun. All right, we're gonna play Would You Rather, okay? Would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for a full year or take three years off the end of your life? Wait, what? Would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for one full year or take three years off the end of your life? If I could relive. Like you would, like, so say for, say yeah. for example, if you had to relive today over and over again for one full year or take three years off the end of your life. I will relive the day you say I do over and over and over again, whether it takes somebody in my lives away from me. <laughs> See, that's why I can't say nothing nice to you. <laughs> you want to take me serious. <laughs> oh, that was cute. <laughs> it was. Oh, he's so sweet, y'all. I don't believe none of that come out of Alistair Mouth because he be lying all the time. Uh, I lie when it's funny. Alright, another question. Alright, would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear? So every single song that come on or every single one that you hear, you gotta sing or you gotta dance. Which one would you rather do? Dance. Cause not every song gotta dance. But yeah, you would dance to every single song. Every so even song. If, so even if it's like not a dancing type song, you would have to dance. I would dance. You would dance? I'm not playing with these cops out here. Definitely got a cop in the back. I'm not playing with a cop out here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Throw the pub out. Throw the pub out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, baby. What? <gasps> oh my god, they're crazy. Did he just actually should have tipped over? Oh my god. That whole truck could have tipped over. Into the ditch. People are crazy. And Alistair is one of them. Alright. That's my next question. This is some bullshit. What'd you do? You made it longer, didn't you? Yes. Because you weren't supposed to do that. You should have been patient. I was gonna come here and go through the line and move back around. Patience is a virtue. Oh my god. Patience is a virtue. Oh! Alistair just killed our time. Oh! Killed it. supposed to get at the place around 6.18, it says 6.45, because he wasn't patient in traffic. Ow. Ow. So it looks like we got pushed back by 20 minutes because there was a road blockage. And knowing my determined husband, he's trying to get us back on that same time. Like a crazy person. Look at him. You see his face?
<laughs> What's my favorite food? Seafood. Yeah, it's seafood. What else? I eat everything. Else. Exactly. Seafood and um, uh, Mexican food. I love like tacos and I love sour cream. I love guacamole. I love love nachos. Stay tuned for part two of our road trip when we go sandboarding at Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park in Utah.